Hey guys, Jules from Sprint Booster here. Today we're going to install the Sprint Booster on the 2016 Mazda CX-5. Before installing your Sprint Booster, you're going to want to open your driver's side door, take your key fob 20 feet away. For about 5 to 10 minutes, you'll have to wait for the vehicle's CAN bus system to reset. This vehicle has a floor mounted pedal, which means you have to remove it to install the Sprint Booster. To do this, you start by taking a flathead screwdriver and removing the bolt covers. Next, grab your 10 mil socket, use it to remove the bolts, and this lets the pedal free. Before you install, hook up the controller to the side of the Sprint Booster unit itself. To remove the pedal assembly from the harness of the vehicle, you press down on the clip, pulling it outwards. After that, Install the Sprint Booster in line between the pedal and the harness. Remember, press until it clicks. Finally, reinstall the pedal assembly into the floor of the vehicle using those two 10 mil bolts that you first removed, and don't forget those covers. At last, turn on the Sprint Booster and you're ready to go. Hi, I'm Liz. I'm the owner of the Mazda CX-5. I just had a Sprint Booster installed and I'm going to take it for a test drive to see the difference. Okay, so now I've put it on level nine sport mode, so we're gonna take it for a test drive. Well, that's fast. As soon as I hit the gas, the response is instant. Um, I felt like it was lagging before, so when I pushed the pedal, I felt like I had to really push it, and this time around, I just tap it lightly and it takes off. I recommend Sprint Booster for everyone who has a large vehicle, whether it's a car or an SUV, as it makes your car feel like it's lighter, and it's such a big difference. That was the install of a Sprint Booster on a 2016 Mazda CX-5. It boasts a three-year warranty, a 30-day money-back guarantee, and unlimited smiles per mile. In the comments below, we need more of you guys to tell us what vehicle you would like to see next.